What is up guys? Welcome back to another vlog. It's me Franz and today we are with Project GR Yaris once again. Right there behind me is actually a new Varis carbon fiber hood. We've been waiting for this hood for almost seven months already and it finally arrived. Apparently it's just been waiting in the customs for quite a while so we have to make sure that nothing is broken there. We also have to check if it's gonna work out with our current setup right now because as you guys know we have carbon fiber hood dampers on both sides and hopefully we get to transfer these on the various carbon fiber hood and I also have to make sure that the carbon fiber hood has its own well I don't know what you call this but you guys get it it's this thing so that it locks here It comes with this stick over here because um, you won't be able to use this anymore from the stock hood. But not like we need it anyway because I'm hoping that we get to use this on the various hood over here. The hood also comes with this. It's a screen. So we'll have to of course paint this black. That's real carbon fiber, guys. Look at the quality. You can see my reflection. Really nice. Wow. I'm most probably going to install this on the car and then have it coated by AGs with the same carbon composite coating that they put on the car just to protect all of these carbon fiber. I'm thinking of not painting it anymore because I want it to be sort of like my own version of a GRMN Yaris wherein they don't paint the carbon fiber hood. So now that we know that the hood is actually in good condition, I think the first step that we need to do is to actually take off the hood dampers that are installed on the stock hood over there. And after we do that, we'll be able to take off the hood itself and then be able to finally fit this thing on the car. So right now, that's what we're gonna be doing. Comments. Ah, carbon lodi. <laughs> So my dad here is holding the stick guys because you buy this expensive hood and it doesn't come with a hood prop. But uh, right now we're doing a test fit of the hood and we're just trying to get the alignment here correctly. Also here at the, the distance between the plastic tab here and the hood. So we're just trying to align it with the other side. And then we're also trying to align it here in front and make sure that everything here is fitting perfect. And so far, everything does fit perfect. Good job on Varis because honestly guys, we've ordered lots of Varis parts before for my dad's um, project WRX. And there were some pieces like fender um, panels that didn't fit correctly. So I'm very thankful that this hood actually fits very nicely to this car. You can really tell guys just by lifting the hood that it's lighter than stock you can even lift the hood from near the hinges and you'll still be able to lift the hood easily but anyway uh right now we have an extra black plate over here i don't know if you guys can see there's an extra black plate here and that's what's gonna hold on to the carbon fiber damper that we have over here so 
this is something that no one has done in the world i'm pretty sure because everybody who bought the various hood probably doesn't have the hood dampers so this hood damper is very useful because again the various hood does not come with a hood stand so this is the the stick the stick that comes with the various hood and let's install it open the hood there and it's angled so that it meets here and i guess you just put no it i think the angled one should be this one are you sure let's try it the other way okay and then right, it's the same we've successfully installed one damper here on this side happy to show you guys that it can actually hold the hood up just by having one but uh if you actually if you're coming from this angle and you like put it up it just falls back it only starts holding up to like here and then you have to kind of guide it for it to like fully open until it gets there but it holds the hood but uh since we have another damper why not use it right because the mount is already there this is what it looks like with the hood dampers and i will let my dad open the hood so the hood dampers, we've already installed two of them on both sides and they open pretty aggressively so you really have to guide the hood like that. Just like how my dad did it. And there. So for you guys who own a Varys hood and you don't want to end up using the weird hood stand that was provided, we can afford not to use that already and stick with the hood dampers. So what I was telling my dad guys was that for the grill over here, since the one that Varys provided was a silver crisscross pattern, I was telling him why not use the one that he provided for my front grill, which is this one. Um, it's naturally black, so we don't have to worry about the paint actually you know, chipping off. Um, that's what's nice about it, and it's very durable. And I actually like the pattern on it. Look at that pattern. It's like the Toyota 86 OEM pattern on the grill. But yeah, so imagine that and we put it here. I think that's gonna look really clean. We just have to like, you know, cut it up in the right sizes. If this part gets exposed, like directly on top of that, that's gonna be so nice. <laughs> and they're also gonna be able to see this, the Eventory logo. So guys, this is what it looks like without the rain catch on. We've taken it off. I think that was that was a lot of screws. Siguro mga 12 screws. Anyway, this is the view from inside. So, uh, I'll let my dad close it. There. So, with the rain guards off, you can really see the carbon fiber HKS engine cover. Nice one. And you can see more carbon fiber here. From the Eventuri intake. Very, very nice. This view alone is enough reason for me to choose the Varys hood over the original GRMN hood. Because the original GRMN hood, the slots are somewhere here. But yeah, this alone, like, that's like an ultimate flex right there. It's like loaded with carbon. Really, really nice view. You're in luck. This is the last set of the grill. Yes. Nice one. That pattern. Yeah, and the pattern's really nice, guys. Look at that. Very nice pattern. Okay, guys, just a quick update. My dad and I have been working for quite a while for this grill to actually fit in here. So this is the grill that's not provided by Varys. This is the one from my dad. And we've been cutting it since a while ago. And yun, um, mission success. This is what it looks like from underneath. There you go. So it's held securely in place by those. Um... And here is the outcome. Looks really clean because of the pattern, as you can see. And the way it reflects the light because of the material of the grill. It adds like a bit of shine. You see that shine? Just like a, a bit of shine from the grill. So all we're gonna do is make use of these last bits and then we're gonna be putting it on the sides of the car. But we're thinking of the pattern since the pattern right here is straight like that. Maybe for the sides we can do it something like this. What is up guys? After many many hours of working on this car, 
As you can see, my face is very oily. And my dad is also here. So here it is, guys, the finished product. And if you look closely, guys, the grain of the grill is intentional. So all of these actually are tilted back. If you touch it, it's smooth to the touch when you do it like this, but it's against the grain when you do it like this. So in a way, it's kind of... Aerodynamic. Yeah, kind of aerodynamic, just like how the hood has like this gurney flap like that. The grill also has that kind of action going on there. It's like that. Yeah, so we made sure that all of the grills over here have the same um, pattern but what my dad and I did on the sides is we angled it a bit. So as you can see, the middle grill is straight. Here, we angled it like this so that it's in line with the curvature of the hood and the lines. If we look at what's underneath, ta-da! So we cut this one by one and then folded it in. So that is the end result. So it's a very nice view because this is like carbon fiber and then when you look inside, oh, there's more carbon fiber and more carbon fiber because of the inventory intake. What do you guys think? I think it looks really nice and I think it's time to clean this hood because there's a lot of fingerprints from all the work that we've done. So guys, this ends my vlog and I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more future GR Yaris content. Again, if you like the parts that you see, you can always order them through my dad's page on Facebook. It's Peter's Garage PH and the link to his page is in the description box below. So we'll see you guys next time and you guys take care. Hope you guys enjoyed. Goodbye.